Florida's blood centers, Orlando Health, and the American Heart Association are joining forces for the Go Red for Women initiative. The red dress has become a symbol of women's heart health, and we want you to know your heart health as well as you know your dress size. Did you know you can reduce your risk of heart disease and save a life at the same time? That's right. According to studies published in the American Journal of Epidemiology, blood donors are 88% less likely to suffer a heart attack. And according to Heart, Journal of the American Heart Association, blood donors are 33% less likely to suffer any type of cardiovascular event. Why is that? Well, researchers aren't 100% sure, but believe it may be due to one of two things. One, blood donors must be considered healthy before they roll up their sleeve, so they're less likely to suffer heart disease because they're already in good health and probably have lower blood pressure and lower cholesterol levels than non-blood donors. Or two, iron has a significant impact on atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries. And when you donate blood, you're removing 225 to 250 milligrams of iron from your system, thus cutting your risk of heart disease. Uh, there are some other thoughts that just removing the iron reduces some of the free radical damage that might happen to the blood vessels in the body and also reduce the risk of heart disease. Premenopausal women tend to have half the amount of iron as men because they lose iron every month through menstruation. Coincidentally, they also suffer about half as many heart attacks. However, once a woman goes through menopause, her risk of heart attack increases, but donating blood can reduce that risk. In addition to depleting iron levels, when you donate blood, we give you a free mini physical. Donating blood does not impact your cholesterol levels directly. However, again, individuals that go to donate blood get a cholesterol level taken um, and a result given to them each time they go to donate blood. So it allows them to closely monitor the process, know at a quick glance if they're uh, at low risk, moderate risk, or high risk of cardiovascular disease, and take appropriate action with their physician as needed. So while scientists are still researching why blood donation reduces the risk of heart disease, one thing is clear. There are many benefits to the donor as well as the patient. So if you want to pick up a healthy habit, visit your local blood center and give the gift of life.